some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in Cherokee County, uh, Oklahoma, where we find a set of frauditors who, well, are just too damn dense and stupid to figure out that, uh, yeah, courthouses do have policies on uh, recording inside their facilities because you know attorney client privileged information uh jurors that might be walking around other security issues you know all that kind of stuff so let's go ahead and get this s show on the freaking road shall we we're all here at the as you can tell from behind me the cherokee county courthouse a gentleman was arrested here at the cherokee county courthouse for committing a heinous heinous terrible terrible act his crime, filming around the courthouse at the court clerk's office. Now, as we've discussed repetitively, we've got a series of judges around the state of Oklahoma issuing orders directing people what to do inside of the county courthouses. There's just one, two, th well, there's, there's a lot of problems with that, but let's just talk about a couple of the big ones. First, the county courthouse is owned by the county, Cherokee County. It is under the dominion and the control of the county commissioners. Only the county commissioners can direct what kind of behavior can occur in its facility. The judge and the court is a tenant, just like they're renting in the building. And certainly they can say inside of this courtroom, you can't record. Now, should that change in the state of Oklahoma? Absolutely, but right now they can restrict that. What they can't start doing and what they've done improperly, it seems here, is start restricting access to the courthouse in other areas. One of the ways that they do this is they always... Yeah, that's a load of frauditor bullshit right there. Uh, you do realize that uh, the courthouse itself is a non-public forum and, uh, well, the Tenth Amendment pretty much applies to all this BS, and uh, while the uh, county can establish some rules over the uh, property, uh, the statewide judicial rules still apply to that as well as any other courthouse that uh, may be rented out as such. So, dude, uh, you really need to get a clue. Mention or use the court clerk. Here's the problem with that. The courts these courts have no control over the court clerk except to the extent specifically granted them by the legislature. And the only part that they've granted them authority in is how to dictate what records are sealed, not sealed, and how they're released. They don't have general powers over the court clerk's office. They can't direct them how to do their jobs, who to employ, not to employ, or how to engage in the business that they engage in in their office. And they report to the people of the county of Cherokee and not to the heinous decisions of some ridiculous judge that wants to bar the public's access to public records. Join us as Gorilla Publishing goes and investigates the Cherokee County Courthouse to find out what kind of corruption are they trying to hide inside. Yeah, uh, I'm smelling some corruption at this point, and it's not coming from the uh, courthouse. It is coming from that big old brown stain on the back of your pants. What was the deal with that? What happened? He went ballistic. Off That's what it seemed That's like. That's what it seemed like. Off his meds in the court clerk's office. In the court clerk's office. Is that what he got arrested for? For not filming, but for being... Well, he tried to film and there's no film. We have no comment, right? You, you have no comment? No comment. Who are you, sir? I'm me. I, I know, I was just asking you, you to know, identify there, yourself. There's no law. No, you can't. There is no law that says wow. that I have to give you my name or badge number. You okay. can see the sheriff. Okay, the sheriff's he department. No, he's at the sheriff's department. Where's that at? That's 912 South College. Okay, we'll be down there. Okay. okay. You won't identify yourself yeah. working no. in the course of your duties? No. You won't no. identify there's, there's no, there's no Do you law. know what this If you want to identify me, 
talk to the sheriff. You know. While it is usually department policy, there is no law that requires an officer to give his badge number, just as there's no law saying we can't record in the courthouse. Now, it took me less than two minutes to find this particular policy right here about uh, filming within uh, areas adjacent to the court rooms and in, inside of a courthouse. And there are other policies in place about uh, not filming in the courthouses overall. And that varies from state to state, of course. Then there are the cases of like uh, Punta Gorda versus Sheets, where it's stated that if you have no business in there, no viable business whatsoever inside of the courthouse and saying you're a member of the press doesn't count as being business at all, then you can be asked to leave and, uh, well, trespassing occurs after that. And despite what frauditors tend to say, you don't need to be committing a crime to be trespassed. All they got to do is ask you to leave. Well, that, uh, he has no comment either. He has not, you're, Why you're, you're nobody has any comments? About this. Sir, do you know who that is? Alright, well, we'll ask the court clerk. Nope. Sir, there's no recording in the courthouse. In the courthouse. Court is the county clerk's office. Sir, you will. Is the county clerk's office in here? I'm sorry? Sir, is the county clerk's office in here? I'm sorry. You're in a restricted area. Where? Where is right the here. restricted area? This is restricted. Area. I just. Oh, I, I, I said. Don't walk behind me. I'm just waiting to walk behind you. You're sitting on my bag. Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. Well, can you calm down a little bit, Ted? Yeah. Access denied. Your pathetic, meaningless existence is not recognized. Where does it say that? It, uh, they passed the rules. Excuse me, county commission. Where, where, okay, so I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go ask for a copy of that. And once I review that, I'll. You can do that, but you can, are not allowed to bring a recording of audio or video in the courthouse. Are you telling me under threat of I'm threat of arrest? That I can't do that. Otherwise, I'm gonna do it. You will be arrested. Oh, I'll be arrested if I come in with this camera? Yeah. Perfect. Now can you identify yourself since you've given no, a lawful order? No, but it'll be on the paperwork. When I'm an officer, you're, you're giving me a lawful order. Where, where can I see this rule? Can you go give me a copy of it? Should be posted on the front door or the front. Yeah, can I get a copy of that? I don't want to just take it. I don't have to my word for it, sir. I don't have a copy. Can you go get me a copy? No. No? no. If you would like to leave your camera somewhere, no, I, I'm okay. going to stand here. Then you, you, then you would be you acting in okay. an unprofessional manner. Right. Well, well, you're, you're, uh, you're calling him unprofessional, uh, dude. A professional follows the rules of his job. If it doesn't hurt anybody or anything, you are not getting damaged by his denial of you in that courthouse to record. Uh, whatever it is you want to record. But this is just a frauditor tactic to, uh, well, try to uh, get a fictional lawsuit going, you know, uh, so that way they can uh, look uh, big and bad in front of their audience members, even though 99.99999999% uh, of the time, their threats are about as hollow as their head. To be arrested, there is no recording in the courthouse. I'm not in the courthouse. I'm in the courthouse lobby. No, this is a courthouse. This is the public lobby, so where's the order, sir? Okay. Where, where's the order? I, I am an attorney, I just want to read the rules. Okay, I'm glad you're an attorney. Thank you, I just want to read the rules, sir. Okay. Can I see the rules? I don't have it. I don't have it on me. I don't have it. I, I gotta go get a copy of it in there. So how do we do this? I really doubt that you're a lawyer. I mean, just saying you're a lawyer doesn't make you a lawyer. Because if you were an actual attorney, then you would know where these, uh, rules are located at you would be able to look them up quite easily on your own time and uh, well given that you're standing here uh being a royal pain in the ass toward everybody around you kind of indicates the counter argument that you are not an attorney i mean come on now dude you should have better arguments in this i want to go get a copy of that rule uh, i need my wallet i've got like do you have a supervisor in the building sir i'm a supervisor you're the super god bless america you're the supervisor. Dear Lord. I'm reading something, so just give me a couple minutes. Thank you, sir. Thank just, you. Just, Can you identify that gentleman who refuses to identify himself for me? Just just a second. Let me finish reading this, and I'll, I'll get with you guys, okay? okay? Thank you. Phone numbers. I put it on the phone numbers, guys. I put it on, it's on the comments. Oh, come on, you whiny little punk bitch. Why don't you just go ahead and let the, uh man read out the uh, court order for you and then maybe you would find out 
how wrong you are, but no, you just got to be the loudest, most obnoxious person in the room so nothing can get done so that way you can take a dump on the chessboard and declare a victory. I mean, that's just a rather shitty way to go, though. It's Sheriff County Sheriff's Department. Sheriff. Uh, safety. Sheriff. Sheriff. Uh, safe and orderly environment, county under control of lease property. Board of Commissioners seeks to discourage and prevent behavior, just seeks to discourage and prevent uh, behavior, constitutionally protected activity on its property. And it goes on to say that the police can record, but nobody else can. And you can't restrict the First Amendment for just one group of people. It has to be consistent. And even if it was everybody, as the officer stated, it's a rule, not a law. And even if it was a law, it would be an illegal law because it violates the First Amendment of the Constitution. And just who are you to decide uh, what's uh, constitutional and unconstitutional? That is for the Supreme Court to decide. If you want to take it up with them, then that's your right. But until then, you have no right to declare something unconstitutional. None of us has that right, just Supreme Court. Because if it was that way, then uh, we would have people like you running around declaring every little thing unconstitutional. Which way you look at this, they are completely in the wrong here. With all the consent of all persons who you're recording. Mm -hmm. Which means, okay, so let me ask you this, so Sheriff. So here's the thing. These guys can adopt an ordinance that's unlawful. As the sheriff's department, you guys are responsible for doing what's constitutionally required in an area that the public can access. Let me let me finish. You, you want to interrupt me? But let me just finish my piece and I'll give you all the opportunity you want to respond. If the public has the right to go, then a camera has the right to go. If there's a restricted access area that's a, a private area or something in a government building, you can restrict access. This is very well settled case law all across the United States, but specifically it's well settled case law in the 10th circuit. So all I want to explain to you, Sheriff's Officer, and these other guys, is that by enforcing this and telling me under threat of arrest that you're going to do this, y'all have what's called qualified immunity. You know what that means? It means it's qualified. It's not, it's not all open and everything. And if something is well established as law, then you lose your qualified immunity. This is well established. So. If you can identify the guy, the guy already gave me the directive that I would do it under threat of arrest. If you'll just tell me who he is, I have my lawsuit. I'm not going to try to go in anymore. I just need to know what that guy's name is so I can put him as the party that said I couldn't go in under threat of arrest. If you can tell me that, okay. I'm done here today. Okay. That paper right there, oh. what it is, the county commissioners can I disagree. not allow. I disagree. Okay. I, and I understand that. We'll challenge that, that'll, that'll be a court we'll deal. That, that'll, be a court, that? that, that'll be a court deal. Right. So that part, but as of right now, you can't film anything past that. Okay. Because and if I do, I'll be arrested. Uh, you will be asked to not record. Okay. But then I, you'll, okay, let me, let me finish. Because okay. you, I let you finish. Sure, absolutely. You'll be asked to not record. Mm -hmm. Then you'll ask, be asked, if you continue to record, asked to leave. Mm -hmm. And so no longer recording. Right. And then... At that point, it'll be up to you if you want us to escort you out. I just want you to tell me that. Look. Oh, stop! Please, I'll do anything, but you stop! Yeah, for order to please stop your jibber jabbering. I mean, you're already making yourself look like a complete moron. I mean, case laws that you know nothing about and everything like that. Why don't you actually quote a case law instead of saying, oh, this is a well-established case law? You know, actually provide proof. That's what an actual lawyer would do. Provide proof. Let's just pretend that I've already gone and recorded. You've told me to not record. And you're going to go to the next step that says, if I keep recording in here, you're going to arrest me. Can we just get to that point? You tell me that, and then I'll be out that door and go on about my day. You chose... Poorly. Tested will be entirely up to you. No, sir, because I'm gonna, my intention is to go in there and record. You're the one that has the ability or not ability to arrest me. I, I can't make you put handcuffs on me. All I can do is go exercise my constitutional rights. What I'm telling you, sir, is I don't want to leave here in handcuffs. I did that two days ago at another court. It didn't really end well for them. Uh, I don't have a problem going to jail over this issue, but I would rather if it's going to be an issue, let's not make it a big rigmarole. Let's not make my damages so okay. great. Just tell me I can't do it under threat of arrest and I'll leave. You can't record, like I said, past that door. Actually, if I, if actually, I do, I'll be arrested. You, Is that okay. the position? 
You didn't listen to me again. I'm sorry, go ahead. I'm, I don't mean to interrupt. You can't record on county property. Mm -hmm. Okay. If you are recording, we will ask you to stop recording. Okay. Then we will ask you, if you want to keep recording, we'll ask you to, to leave. Okay. And then we will escort you out. Okay. Under threat of arrest if I don't. Right? Let me finish. Okay, we'll, ed we'll escort you out. And if you resist during the process of us escorting you out, then it becomes a crime and you will be arrested. So but I'll not, arrested but not until then. For resisting? That's not, not right. like, you, can't you, can't, you can't legally take okay. me out of, if, there's got to be an underlying charge okay. to, to detain me. Now, Ron, let me ask you what this. What would be the charge that would be detained okay. on for the We're resisting. done. We're done. No, I just need to know which okay. one it is. No, we're done. We're not. Well, can I just be escorted out of the building then? Uh, Under threat of arrest? No, I'll, I'll can you escort us out of this lobby, please? Just, would you, would you no. leave? Uh -huh. no, you gotta tell me to leave. Tell me. You need to leave. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Now, of course, they're going to whine and cry and complain about their civil rights being violated. But, you know, dude, if you're an actual lawyer, you'd know better than that. Can I get okay. your name and back What's your name? James Brown. I'm the undersheriff. I'm so, sure. okay. okay. Thank you so much. Uh, that's it. Please, you identify that other yeah, gentleman? Please, that big please read that stuff because it goes in more detail. I understand. About I, 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 I will. So, can you identify that other officer who refused to identify himself when uh, I first came Kevin in? McFarlane. Kevin awesome. McFarlane. Thank, Thank you. you so much. All right. I appreciate it. Thank you. Have a good day, y'all. All right. That's how you're, you get your civil rights violated and not go to jail. Right. Well, there you have it, folks. So, folks, so we've had a long day. This is like the, we've been going all day. Uh, we've been to Gore, Oklahoma. Uh, we went to uh, uh, Weber's Falls, Oklahoma. We went to Vian, Oklahoma, met with the police. Well, I'm just going to end the video right here, everybody, because, well, they are extremely butthurt, and, uh, well, I might as well go ahead and give them a tube of uh, my new and specially formulated extra strong butthurt cream, uh, specially developed by the elves for uh, purposes like this but you know those damn dirty elves you never know what's in this stuff to begin with so enjoy it while it lasts because it may give you even bigger hemorrhoids than you already have so at any rate guys i hope you enjoyed the video thanks for watching and i'll see you on the next one this could be some groundbreaking stuff right here Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?